Welcome back. Now, you may be wondering, why are we in the options? Why have we started here? Well, 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 well. We've gone to game settings here. We've gone to the difficulty level. I've changed it to custom. Now, I can, I can have it on normal. I could have it on bringer of chaos, but we won't. I could have it on easy. At the moment, we were on normal, but I've changed it over to custom because of my level. What I've done is I've increased the maximum HP for enemies. Like, the, these I assume are normal settings. I've not really played around with this yet, so it's sort of like, I'm assuming that's normal. That's what it was when I went there. So, if, if that's wrong, please, please do let me know. I'm sure we'll find out soon enough. But, yeah, so I, I put up the HP. I don't want to put it up too far, because I don't know how much that affects things. Just so things stay alive a bit longer. So, I don't necessarily want the game to be harder, just make it so I can mess around and do things as I advance through the game in the Let's Play. But, also what we're going to be doing is actually, we'll not do the side, side quests for a while. We'll, we'll wait on that. We'll get through the story, get to the point where, like, the game catches up with me. Because, as we can see, I'm still level 39. I, 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 I did go off and get Naya up to level 40. Yeah, I basically went to the inn and just got her, like, balanced out. So it's like, from here on out, this is what we're going to be at. So it's like, that's the aim. We're going to be heading off and actually carrying on with the story. It Oh, it's a new day, everybody. Yes. Anyway, I, I found this heart to heart up here. It's because I was wondering, did get the right menu this time, what these question marks were here. And then I noticed there was a heart to heart up here. So it's like, okay, I'll, I'll head up here. I had to use something down there. You can see it there. I had to use um, a wind blade and poppy to get me up here. So that's how we got up here. Right, so let's view this heart to heart and then get on with the story. Master Pon, Poppy have question. Pursuit of learning is good thing. Ask anything and Tora will answer. Oh, debatable. Cloud C clearly visible from here. Height of Cloud C is different at different times. Why height change? I thought we established this. Meme, well, um, Tora let Rex Rex answer that one. Because you don't know the answer. Rex, why cloud height change? Um. Well, let's see now. And maybe it's easier if you compare it to the clouds in the sky. They come in all different shapes, right? Some clouds very flat, other clouds big and fluffy. Yeah, that's what I mean. I like how she delivered that big and fluffy. And the shape doesn't stay the same forever. The cloud C is the same way. It's not always a flat surface. Sometimes it gets fluffed up. I mean, as, as a simple explanation, that's kind of good. The height and shape of it isn't constant. It's always changing. Not suddenly like the weather, but gradually. It's more likely than not to change overnight. Yeah. That sounds about right. Very interesting. Here's the thing, though. Going going on the old, whole idea of, like, there's there's something in orbit, the space elevator idea that I had a while ago. I'm generally thinking this planet is a sphere. Because I can't remember exactly, but I'm sure in the first Xenoblade, the planet was actually just an endless sea. I, I don't know if it was established as being, like, a sphere-type planet or anything like that. Just endless. Can't remember, though. Someone remind me on the details there. Oh, but it's only the Titans like this one and the more ordained Titan that affect the Cloud Sea's height. Ones like the Trade Guild Titan Goldmouth just float on the surface, so they don't affect it. I mean, they do affect it, obviously, but just not anything noticeable, I assume. Makes lots of sense. I guess that's about the extent of what I know. Very much thanks, Rex. Poppy learn a lot. Rex must know lots of things. Poppy have even more questions to ask. Oh, really? I don't know if I can answer everything. Poppy! Um... Hmm... Try Ask Dromark instead. Yeah, I'd, I'd want to hear her questions. We can learn more about the game this way. Try Ask Dromark instead! Yeah, it's, it's, it's like... We, we can learn more about the world. That's a good idea. I reckon Dromark is more knowledgeable than I am. Oh, you flatter me. I'm no expert compared to our resident Titan. What? 
Don't drag me into this. Oh dear, oh dear, Gramps. I have no memories of the time before I bonded with my lady, after all. Oh, indeed. That's no reason to throw me into the cooking pot. What am I supposed to say if Poppy asks, where do babies come from? Or something like that. Hmm. Tell her they are delivered by a flying turkin. That kind of quick thinking is why you're a better man for the job. Ah, you overestimate me. Still, if the mighty Titan is not willing, I suppose we will have to rely on my lady instead. Hold it, Joe Merck. I want no part in this mess. I mean, you don't even know what she's going to ask at this point. Master Pond, Poppy think Poppy already learned something. Oh, learn what? This what people mean when they talk about passing the buck. Indeed, indeed. Look at that pointing like, all right, calm down, calm down. You don't have to keep pointing. All right, calm, calm. She'll snap her arm off at that rate. What? <laughs> Just the name of that. Right, so. That's that heart to heart done. Right, so it's it's nice that Poppy's questioning the world. This is a nice reason to have Poppy around, really. It's just sort of like that. How the hell do we get down? Um Just just someone asking questions is nice. It would make sense that Poppy would be asking. It's just oh, it's just lovely. You know what, instead of running down this hill, by the way, what we're gonna do is just Why do you go at me? We'll just go there. Because that's where we're heading. Yeah, it's a, it's a nice way for. And we're you. We yeah. We yeah. We yeah. Are we? And we yeah. Right. So let's get this little thing over here. Can we run in this game? I can't remember if we can run. I think we can go slowly, can't we? Yeah. What have we here? I know we can auto run as well. You can see I've been here. There's a treasure chest open over there. Oh, hello, jet snake. Up. What was the auto run button? There we go. That's me auto running. I've not got my hands on the controller all right now. Right, anyway, I'm assuming in here, because there was a uh, non pod in here. Hello! Umon! Umon! Where is Umon? Who is Umon? Who is that? Who is noisy while I do my work? Tora, this big surprise. Long time no see, Uncle Pon. Yes, long time. About one whole year? Yes, about that. You became very big in one year, Tora. Yes, Tora not little Pon anymore. And Tora have lots of sidekicks. Rex Rex and friends are not Tora's sidekicks. They are real friends, Umon! Rex Rex, meet Uncle Pon Umon! He did great research with Grampy Pon. He is great builder of ships! Hello. Greetings. At your service. I see. Tora's friends. Tora has lots of friends. Very good. Tora has become fine, Biggie Pon. Biggie Pon. <laughs> well, Tora, did you need Uman's help for something? Well, we wanted to borrow a ship from Uncle Pon Uman. A ship? But there are lots of ships in Toragoth. Why hike all the way to Bum Bum to see me? Oh, um... Well... Tora run out of gold, hmm? Uh, yes. Tora spend all the gold on artificial blade. Tora flat broke, like penniless pancake. <laughs> I wanted to go on a little boaty jaunt to a uh, nearby place, but no money to go on boat. A jaunt? Hmm. I hope Tora can keep track of all these fibs he's telling. There's no other option. We can hardly tell him what happened in Toragoth, can we? Yeah, I guess you're right. He can hear you. So long as we get a boat out of this. Artificial blade, eh? Was this what Tora's Grampy Pon was working on? My name is Poppy. Pleased to meet Uncle Pon. Yes! This it! 
this pretty mighty. Tora take off the grumpy pawn indeed. Oh, well, how can I refuse Tora now? Tora may use Uman's ship, but there is problem. What is problem? You see, ship not quite ready just yet. Not much left to do, but work stop because no building parts. That's the only problem. Correct, but that is big problem. Big like sea or mountain. You mean, all you need is some parts, then you can finish the ship? It just as you say, friend. So if we go and find the parts, then you'll... Of course! I make ship ready, then you borrow! Thank you! Come on, everyone. Let's go! Yay! Let's go find ship ingredients! He hasn't told us what we need to get. Is he gonna do that? Where are we going? Uh, yes. What? What do we need? What do we need? Ah, I went to the right menu. I was like, did I get the right menu? Yes. We want ship. Right, so we help Umon complete a titan craft so that you can borrow a boat to journey to the world tree. Okay, so we, we've already got some stuff. Right, so we'll see about getting one of each and then I'll probably make a cut. So, head to Dawnview Grotto. Well, I know where that is. In Gormod Province and get your hands on some diamond oak. And puzzle tree wood. Okay. Let's actually come out and go in this way. Why are you going eh, eh, at me? Right, so we want the upper right, I believe. Right, so it's all up there. So dawn few grow. They may be all in the same location, so it may be just be a case of like pick them up, we're, we're done. Locating position. Yeah. Alright, then we'll I guess we've sorted that one. Come out, come out. I'm assuming the other stuff is just generally just get it. What have we here? So it should be easy enough to get the wood. Because I know I know where to get wood and stuff like that. Alright, so we've done that bit. Let's see if there's actually another marker. Doesn't seem to be a marker, so I'm assuming is just go collect wood from any general location where I can get wood. So let's see the quest log. I didn't want to deactivate it, I wanted that one. Alright, so we need some puzzle tree wood. It's just anywhere really, isn't it? Alright, so let's actually try to think where... Where, 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 where's best for wood? I mean, we're on the tree right now, so there is actually some points below us we could use. Let's go just wander around a little bit. And then once I get one or get a place where I can get wood, we'll make a cut until I've gathered them all. Seems simple enough for me. What have we here? There you go. So yeah, it is like, right, I'll probably just keep reloading that spawn point and coming to this area here. So, we'll see you back at Umon Shipyard in just a second. There we go then, all sorted. Got myself a lovely cup of tea as well while I was doing that. So I might be sipping away during the scenes. We got your stuff. Where's the ship that you were building gone? Here friend, take. Oh, here, friend take more like. Meh meh, friends really brought all materials requested? This indeed is puzzle tree wood and diamond oak. Very impressive. This should be enough to make strong boat frame. Okay. But too soon for celebrations. Please don't get angry. Maybe we have all the bits we need, but Titan escaped. Well, I want more info. The one unfortunately forgot to feed poor Titan. So Titan swam off with rumbly tummy. So friends must go and find Titan. Naughty Titan was heading for Mash Mashra Spring in Gormot. Surely you'll find it there. Oh, I see. Once you find Titan, feed it to uh, green feed it the green pollen orbs I provide you. That forms contract between you and Titan. As long as you give pollen orbs, it gladly serve you as your boat. Of course, if you run out of green pollen orbs like before. That's as far as you go. 
but this is traditional nopon 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 yep nopon taming method not like rough taming methods used by more ordain that's pretty neat mm-hmm <laughs> Friends now are privy to very secret trick of Titan trade. Huh. A anyway, go down to M Mishra Spring. Naturally, Titans not show up except where sea cloud is high, so be aware. I'll do what I can. Alright then. So, let's see about that. Get some little fast traveling around. So, where are we going? That's the thing, it's like, where, 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 did it say I had to go? So it's like, looks like we're going there. Like, th this is where the spring is? Do -do -do -do. Off we go! Apparently what we've got to go find? over here. Very well. The inn is the place to feel one with nature. Time to rest those weary legs, I think. Um, long rest. Ah, being long rest. That's why. Got it. Yes. Let's see what it was telling me to do there. Um, no, we don't want to level up. Because, it. I mean, I can't, but it's like, I... If I get the chance, I'm not going to at this point. Lovely piece of music. Hey guys, why don't we go and check out the Forgotten Waste? Sounds great, why exactly? Well, I mean, I don't know if there's anything there exactly. Let's just go and see what it's like. What? You don't want to go? Why would you bring that up? You are awake, Master? Ugh, I slept like a baby. Why did she bring that up? Why, 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 why the forgot, why? That was, oh, is that where I'm going? That's just, why'd she bring that up? I don't know. Seems very strange, right, so. So that seems to be the closest to the location we want to be. Forgotten waste, I don't even know what that is. Is that a thing on here? I don't know. That was strange. Does anybody know what that was? And we're you. We Let yeah. us go. Yeah, so we want down somewhere over here. Now, I do know a way down, by come the way. Out, come out. And I may actually do that if we can, because I've done it before. So this this the sea is high, which is good for us. Alright, so the sea is high. Huh. Should be alright doing that. There we go, because I found some chests down here before. As you can see, there's a chest over there. It's like this is clearly where we need to go as well. As you can see, it's right there. There's our right. Okay, so cool. Come out, you can come see there's out. a goldy white Man. chest. Bye -bye, Does anybody daytime. have a list of these chests Not anywhere? Because I, I very much would like to here. find as many as I can, because there's always good stuff in them, but it's just like finding them. There's another chest over there as well. But anyway. We found you! How do I get on you? Or speak to you or interact with you? I'm not entirely sure. Titan! This kind of emotional reunion. We just have to give it this green pollen orb, right? Rex, you go do it. Why me? I mean, I don't mind, but... Try not to get eaten yourself. Don't say things like that. Here you go. I and swim off somewhere. Perhaps it has gone to see Umon. I dare say so. Titans are quite intelligent. I'll have you know. Let's go back and see Umon then. Alright. Seems pretty cute. Doom -doom. Alright, so back to Umon. Left. We want to ship you out. There we go. Shall we running? And we're you. I like how she go. says here, year, and we year. It's just. I do enjoy that accent. Come on! Wonderful! Friends come back! 
have fed many green pollen orbs now, and attachment to ship frame is all complete. Can set sail any time. Much thanks. No need for thanks. Once friends are ready to set sail, come talk to Uman. I'm ready. Let's go. I, I, I can't do any side quests because we're under new rules right now. We need to proceed. Let's go. Latest and greatest Uman vessel is ready and ready to go. Feel free to depart any time. Set sail. Have a good trip, friends. Take care, Tora. So now we borrow Uncle Pond's boat. Thanks, Simon. We owe you. Indeed. Enjoy your boaty jaunt. I shall try. I do wonder, though, there's not going to be any, like, seasickness in this world, is there? Because it's like, there's not really any tides. Is there a moon? How do you know where you're going? The stars? So that's the world tree. Whoa, I've never seen it so close before. Me neither, to tell you the truth. But it's just as awesome as I'd hoped. The current's really strong. Fall in that, and you're a goner. It's great that we made it this far. But how do we get over there? Any ideas? Pyra? We... Huh? Rex? We need to leave. We can't stay here. What? Why? What are you talking about, Pyra? Leviathan? Ophion! Oh, for you? Oh, for who? Quick! Huh? Gotcha! Ophion, stop this. What's wrong? Can't you hear me? It can't be. So there's some kind of guardian then, we've gathered that. But why does the water dip over an edge? What was that? Thought we were done for. Huh? There's always a bigger fish? Is that Uriah's Titan? This is not good! Ah, here it comes! I have so many questions right now. Did that just save us? Potentially? I saw what was going on was like, I'll go rescue those guys. Could have done. So, Pinocchio? Pyra? Anybody? Uh, I'm here. He's got a groin light. You hurt? No, I'm fine. <sighs> oh. <sighs> Looks like we're all okay. Except for the fact that we now find ourselves in the belly of the beast. The beastie's belly? 
This is the inside of the Orion Titan. Meh, meh. Look. Tora think this not nice place. Is that how we're going to end up? Hey, Rex, don't jinx us. Everyone, shouldn't we try to get out of here? If I recall, the Orions live towards the beast's back. There must be a way up there. Yeah. Can't hang around here, for sure. Over there. Huh? Poppy sees something over there. Someone coming this way. For real? Maybe you're just seeing things. Poppy is certain. Something is flickering over there. Flickering? You say? Some kind of ghost, maybe? Shut up. There's no such thing. Nia, you're not scared, surely? D don't talk nonsense, Rex. I'm not a kid. You're scared. At last, something Nia's scared of. Just you watch. Hey, where's Pyra? What? Pyra's missing. Uh, but she was right here. Pyra? Pyra! Hey, what's up? Uh, hey, what's the big idea? Don't wander off like that. Nothing, really. I was just taking a look around. What's the matter? <laughs> what's so funny? Oh, nothing. Oh, Titan's fault. Oh. Things are looking brighter already. Poppy can help too. Now even more brighter. You two are certainly earning a keep. Oh, I wish I could say the same for old Dromark here. Apologies, my lady. See? Not so scary when you can actually see. Let's find the exit. Yeah! yeah! What I can think at this point is like bright eyes burning like fire. Ooh, kingdom though. I mean, I would say it's like a cave, but would that even be appropriate? Barrels. Treasure yeah, questions, acquired. questions, questions. Why? Ooh, nimble knop on get girls. Oh dear. What was that anyway? Uh, uh. No idea. No idea. In fact, we should have a look at that in the what menu, here? shouldn't we? Right, so... Questions are... What exactly is going on with the tree, then? Why is there sort of like a whirlpool sort of thing around it? Well, sort of like a cliff. Why is that not balanced out in terms of water and gravity, etc, etc, etc? Something's clearly sucking the water down. Why? Where's it going? What's it for, etc? What was the thing guarding it? Why did Pyra just suddenly be like, whoa, 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 we better back off? Did she sense what was going to happen? What was going on there? And did this one that's just grabbed us save us? And has the background changed? I think the background changed. Anyway, we just got a new item, didn't we? This thing. How could Can Can know? In any case, this unlocks new parts for Poppy. Okay. Let's go over to Poppy then. Let's go over to... Uh, poppy swap. We don't want poppy swap, we actually want to create crystallized parts. So what can we get? We can't upgrade to level 3. Hmm. Because I'd want tank mod 3 at this point. Obviously, I've not got that. So these are the manuals. Got it. Yeah, I was hoping for the elemental cores. Hmm. Draw aggro from enemies in battle. So it would be nice to actually have some of those around, but... Why haven't I got that? What, what else do I have in that place? Because clearly I've got something else there. Not sure. Like, why do I not have aggro draw? Not entirely sure there. Alright, so... I've done some tiger tiger in case you're wondering where some of the others have come from. Alright, so go three there. 
That noise is just so familiar with anvils from World of Warcraft. I just sense it. Okay. Try add something here as well. This aggro boost. I only need one of them, but oh dear, I don't know. So this arts aggro boost would be nice as well. And I'm sure there was something else I could have for popping here that I wanted. It's quite a lot of things. Maybe I'll just unlock loads of things. Don't know. Well, if there's something I can mess around in between the parts, though. Alright, so roll. We already know we've got there. I want to try and get another thing there. Alright, so. Why cannot I aggro draw there? Like, that's, that's just perfect. Can I have an aggro draw one and aggro draw two there? So we've got the aggro boost. It's my aggro boost. Ah, there. So I didn't need to make three. Hmm. So we've already got one that's 17%, so it's like, okay. It's like, can't have that. Can't have that with the same effect. Okay. That's fine. That's fine, so I can have an aggro boost 3. But I'm probably going to sort this stuff in between the parts, make sure we get everything sorted here. But the frontal forces, it's like, yeah. Because you're going to be attacking from the front if you've got aggro, so that's the best there. Okay, okay. Right, so I'll have a little play around in between the parts at some point and get that sorted. But anyway, let's actually advance on and see where we're going then. It's like, I'm assuming this is a new area completely, so I'm going to just skip some collection points and advances on for now and see what awaits us. So I can always come back and get the collection points. Like, we, we know they're there. Windpipe D. Okay, it's, it's, it's cool how this is all working out. So I'm assuming that's down to the belly. So we don't want the belly because we'll get digested. We want the lungs. So I'm assuming this is the lungs. Okay. So there's a side quest down there. But we are skipping the side quests for now. Please do let me know, by the way, if there's any side quests I'm going to miss if I advance at this fast rate. Because I'm heading th for probably chapter 6. I'm guessing. This thing, I'm guessing at this point it's chapter 6 we want. Because I basically want enemies to be hey, level 40. Look what I found. So, once we get to that point, we'll start doing side quests again. There's some kind of dim light. If I remember, the Orion Titan has a translucent hide. I bet that'll be the light filtering through. So, the Titan must be above the clouds now. I dare say. If we can make it to the source of the light, maybe we'll find a way out of here. Hold it! Well, 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 what's all this then? Looks like a bunch of mushes I ain't seen yet. You gotta have pretty damn bad luck ending up in a titan's guts like this. Huh? That blade! An emerald core crystal! <laughs> so, the rumours are true. Huh? What rumours? The tale that every driver worth his salt knows. The legendary Aegis. Folks been saying she just woke up from a 500 year nap. Wouldn't have thought she'd show up with a pencil neck shrimp like you for a driver, though. You think I don't have what it takes? No, I mean, maybe you could handle a normal blade. But a greenhorn like you, with a butte like her, don't kid yourself. Come on, boy. Hand her over to a grown up. This crap is getting old. Leave her alone. You got heart, kid. I like that. You, Zuo, you take care of the others. I want to squash the kid. <laughs> Leave it to us, boys. We'll take real good care of him. Hmm. 
Nice to see a bit of an Aussie accent there. A bit. I'm going to do what the big mind says. All right. Alright, calm down. Shush, hurt. guys, shush. You're up against a whole bunch of fierce opponents. Here's a little tip that might come in handy when taking on multiple enemies. Perhaps you've made use of it already, but that thing that the arrow is currently pointing at is called the concentration icon. Yes, I've used that. When you're taking on multiple enemies, even if you switch to the leader's target, your allies won't switch to theirs. They'll carry on attacking the same enemies. If you feel like you need some help, just press beep the button for the concentration icon and your allies will hone in on the same enemy as you. In a crowded battle, the order you choose to take down enemies in can mean the difference between victory and utter failure. Make good use of target switching and have your allies concentrate on enemies and you might find a way out of some sticky situations. Now, protect Pyra. Alright then I suppose. One. Two, three. I've got to do. I've got to do the one, two, three, just so I remember it. At this point, anyway. One, two, three. And then I got away. One, two, three. It's better with the health how it is, isn't it? One, two, three. I'm gonna do the AOE now. One, two. Three. Okay, so now I want to use the big skill. Yeah. I'm trying not to count now, by the way, in case you're wondering, just so we can get evasion going on there. Careful now. Okay. Number two now. Lovely heal there as well. Just hoping to get a little out there before anything. Everyone's getting sight. Should have him pretty much dead at this point. Strong for a Sheila. Strong for a Sheila. What's the matter? Are you the Aegis or aren't you? Something feels different. This man, he's. That all you got, mate? Pathetic. We'll show you. We'll show you what me and Pyra are made of. He dodged. Of course I did, kid. Any swallow, you'd bore me to death. How about this then? <laughs> Wait! I can't supply power this fast! Nowhere left to run! Eat this! Huh? Playtime's over! Take this! Uh -huh. <laughs> if you're a driver, you're a new one for sure. Drivers, see? We borrow our blade's energy, channel it into our weapons, and let rip with an art. But you gotta be careful. There's a limit to it. If you go in all bullheaded like that, kid, even that Aegis of yours is gonna run out of energy before long. What? What? Huh? Huh? The name's Van Dam. I run a little firm out of the nearby village. Uh, firm? Come on! I'll treat you to some grub, as thanks for letting me take a whack at the legendary Aegis. <laughs> Just then, 
I realized while we were fighting, I sensed from the very start that he didn't mean us any real harm. Hmm, he sure is a strange old goat, that one. I instantly like him though. Right, so we'll end this part here and then we'll chase after Van Damme. It's like, yeah, he seems like a cool guy already. He's just playing around. Lovely. All right, we'll see you in the next part then. Ta-ta for now.